thank you all very much. Before I uh, do sing, you can take this off my time, by the way, if you want. But uh, I just want to thank not only the finest governor in the history of our state, but he will be known as the veterans governor, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you that stood up. So today you signed into law six uh, bills that will uh, help our veterans community, uh, four of which I helped author. And thank you very much, sir. I couldn't be there because of the weather, but uh, thank you very much for your service. And the reason I bring that up is this next song was written by a United States Army veteran. Many people don't know that. He was brought to this country as a child. His parents could not speak English. He went on to become the most famous composer in American history. We know him as Irving Berlin, but he was from Siberia, he was a Jewish uh, immigrant, and he so loved freedom, the concept of freedom, what it meant to him and his family, that he wrote this song while he was in the army, 1918. He pulled it off at the last minute because it was for a skit, it was for a funny play that they were doing on the base. And he said, no, this isn't at the appropriate time to do it. He waited until 1938, when things were very, very dark, um, across the world, mostly in Europe. And he said, now is the time for this song to appear. He handed it to a young lady by the name of Kate Smith, and the rest is history. So if you would, think of it in terms of this young man in love with the United States of America and the concept of freedom. Because he wrote, basically, a prayer for us. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for a land so fair as we raise our voices in this solemn prayer. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America.